Hello, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel experience from which is the 12th October 2019 build on this device. Let me quickly show you the about section over here and if you go into the about phone then Android version you will see of course the Android version 10 and you can do this pretty interesting stuff as you can see this just plays kind of let me go back i'm using the gestures over here as you can see and again you can see the build number the stock kernel is pixel experience plus the security patch is latest october 5th 2019 let me go back from here and in the system in the advanced settings you will find the system updates option and i was on the previous builds and let me tell you that in this like official pixel experience android 10 based build the ot update from here does work super fine and you don't have to flash the roms manually from twrp recovery and by the way to flash this rom you need to keep two things in mind that you are on the latest pi firmware then the second thing will be that like you have the pi firmware supported twrp recovery if you don't know what i am talking about and how to do this stuff you can click on this card and check out how to flash pi firmware and pi firmware supported twrp recovery so flashing this rom afterwards will be pretty easy you just need to flash this pixel experience rom zip file Nothing else, you just need to wipe cache Dalvik system data, then flash this ROM zip file and reboot. You don't need any G apps, you don't need any separate like stuff like any zip files or something. You don't need anything except for the ROM zip. So that's really good that like flashing this ROM is really simplistic and I like it. So let me show you the display settings and stuff quickly from here. This is pretty much same as it used to. We have the dark theme and stuff if you like it. You can use it then we have the night light and stuff then night light is working fine i did test it let me go back you can change the wallpapers then screen timeout then we have the display size then lock screen display or the ambient display options are there for new notifications then we have the double tap to wake yes the double tap to wake does work but there is no double tap to sleep now let me quickly talk about the battery life well you can enable the battery percentage and stuff from here as you can see this is enabled and talking about the battery life you can get about five hours of screen on time in this rom not too good not too bad in my opinion and you can check the like full usage from here and i have been using the device for almost two hours and 14 minutes of screen on time i got then i have the 65 percent battery or juice left so it you can expect about five plus hours of screen on time with this rom pretty much then if you go into the sound settings let me tell you that like there is no me audio direct or something do not expect those kind of things and we have the vibrate for calls option and stuff then you can disable the charging sound and vibration the stock keyboard over here is the google keyboard of course the gboard and there is no face unlock over here as like google has removed like face unlock from android 10 officially then if you go into system and if you have enabled developer options you can like customize the accent colors as you can see we have this cinnamon black green ocean and stuff like that for the accent colors but you have to go to the developer options for these now let me quickly open some of the apps and show you guys how is the app open up speeds and the ram management over here let's open facebook twitter i think facebook was opened already let's open youtube now instagram now let's open all the apps from memory again So as you can see the app open up speeds are pretty fine from memory and you can like do this to switch between apps. This is really convenient in my opinion as you can see. So switching between apps is not a problem here. And if you want to know about the stock camera well this is the basic stock camera the snapdragon kind of camera over here we have. So I'm not gonna use it pretty much but I do have google camera over here which is the like redmi note 7 pro's google camera i'll link it below if you need so it does process the images fine in android 10 this is an android 10 supported google camera and it is working fine i did not try the google camera 7 though and if you talk about anx camera or miui camera yes i have installed anx camera with like TWRP recovery this is the anx camera 152 version and everything is working fine over here with this anx camera even portrait mode photo mode video mode and even front camera does work with this anx camera so as you can see the front camera is working fine so you don't have any issues with this anx camera as of right now you just need to like flash the 152 version zip 
and the IR plus star is working fine too. I did test it with this LED RGB remote app with my RGB lights. Yes, the like IR Blaster does work and Google Pay does work flawlessly over here too. And in terms of day-to-day -day usage, I would say this ROM is pretty smooth except for like some lags or stutters I could find over here in the UI. Yes, I did find some stutters like while typing a like WhatsApp message or inside messenger whenever you are typing your keyboard may freeze for about 30 seconds like sometimes it happens i don't know why but sometimes yes the ui does freeze for like about 20 to 30 seconds then it comes back to normal it does not random reboot or something so that's how it is now let me quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here So as you can see the fingerprint scanner is working fine no issues whatsoever and let me quickly open like PUBG and show you guys in which settings you can play PUBG and while opening PUBG let me show you the volume panels as you can see this is how from here you can control the media call volume alarm volume etc options are there and like for the advanced reboot and stuff yes those are like not present over here let me show you. In the power menu there is only power off restart options so there is no advanced reboot or stuff like that i could not even find those in the like settings of the developer options so in the settings if you go into graphics you can see that you can play on smooth and high then balanced and high then hd and high option is there so for everything there is only high settings not more than that and no hdr of course So the gaming performance as you just saw is pretty good and here is the enter to score. In terms of day to day usage I would say this ROM is pretty fine for daily driving as of right now. If you want to try stock android based android 10 on your redmi note 5 pro this is a pretty great build like to try this is a pretty great official build and for cameras you can install google camera and nx camera but the google camera is kind of laggy but yeah that's how it is. It is still kind of in beta so no like issues for me at least. Thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.